and this video is finding and using the 3D content and the 3D tools in Smart Notebook 14. So I'm going to show you how to find 3D content from the Smart Exchange and from the Trimble 3D Warehouse. We'll look at the pedagogical value of using 3D content and how it can be used with students. When you go into the Gallery tab, one of the options here is the Trimble 3D Warehouse, and we'll go into that in a few minutes. But let's first start with here the second one. Click here to browse 3D content on the Smart Exchange. So that will simply do a search in the Smart Exchange, and it looked for anything that's tagged 3D content. Here, you could add keywords to search for th something specific. There's a lot for science, some math with your 3D objects. Say we want this heart. You click download, but before you can download, you have to be signed in. I'll download this, so you click on download. I was asking if I want to save this gallery item or open it. I'll go ahead and open it. So it will open in Smart Notebook. And we're gonna take a look how to use this later. If this was something that I wanted to keep, I could save this file. I'm saving the notebook file, not just the picture, but the notebook file, maybe 3D heart. And I would save it wherever I save my files. And now whenever I need this file, I can open up this 3D heart page and there it is. Or I could come into my content and I've created one already called 3D content and I could click on the file, drag it here, and then drop it into my 3D content. That's another way to save it. Then I'm not necessarily saving this page, but I have it here in my content and you may even do it both ways. That's how you find 3D content from the Smart Exchange. And you come down here, we've got eight pages and then 9, 10, 11, 12, and they just kind of keep going here. 14 is at the end. It looks like 14 is the end. Look for things that apply to you. Save them either into a notebook file and save the file or put them into my content. So let's take a look now at the other option in the gallery tab, and that's the Trimble 3D Warehouse. It's the old Google 3D Warehouse. There's a link here. It'll take you right to it. And now, the beautiful thing in Notebook 14.2 and above is that you can use the SketchUp version. This looks like a very cool bridge, so we take that one, click the Download button, and then the SketchUp 8 model. So I'm going to download that. It's going to go wherever your computer is set to download. Maybe the Downloads folder in your My Documents on a PC. To put the image into Notebook, you go to the Insert, 3D Object. Then you have to find it wherever it was saved on your computer. Here's my Downloads folder, and here it is, the .skp. Now that the SketchUp files is an option, it opens up the whole 3D warehouse, and the content there it's unimaginable I mean you can find 3d content for almost anything so how do we use the 3d content once we have it we have the heart here so notice when you click on it you still have your drop down menu you still have your resize handle if it's a little bit too big resize it but notice you also have some other options these are your rotating you don't have the regular rotation handle because this is a 3d rotation so this one here allows you to rotate keeping the same top view and just rotate it 360 degrees. Here at the bottom allows you to rotate it around the center axis. So you click that and now we can rotate it and look at it in that orientation. I'm kind of going in a circle with my mouse to make it go in a circle. On the left, this is to rotate it around the center axis, the center horizontal axis. And then finally, the last rotation handle is here in the middle, and that lets you rotate it freely around all of the axes at the same time. Our drop-down menu, since this is a 3D object, has some different 
choices so reset rotation puts it back to the way it started if they are animated you can pause the animation restart the animation not all of them are but some of the ones from the smart exchange are disguise if for some reason you don't want it showing when you come onto the page this is just kind of a built-in so it's disguised and then click the little hat in the bottom corner and there it is back to the heart and then you can disguise it again and sometimes if this is on the screen while you're trying to talk kids may be distracted so doing that can take their attention off of the beating heart while you're discussing something but there's one other thing that you can do and that is to right click on part of the image like I selected the vein I have a new one here called add label and when I click that notice that it put a point here where I right clicked on it and now I can double click here on the word label type in what it is click off I can right click click on another one here call this one artery I can drag the labels wherever I want but now the cool part is when I rotate the heart those labels stay connected to the spots so you can have students label these parts you can label them some even come with labels already attached and then to get rid of a label simply click on it and click the X if that's what you can do with the 3d content but here's the globe theater and even the ones here from the 3d warehouse you can add your labels you can also take text drag it on there these 3d objects really can help students see something if you don't actually have the physical object in notebook 2014 now everybody who has notebook 2014 has a license for these 3D tools. So finding that content either in the Smart Exchange or the Trimble 3D Warehouse that goes along with some of your content can really be helpful for students. And it's a good activity giving them the object and giving them a list of words that they need to label. So give it a try and I think you'll find it very interesting.